Are you f***ing kidding me, Bandai? Just when I thought that they were starting to understand their player base a little bit more, starting to care about what we want from this game, and starting to move towards an ever so slightly more free-to-play model, they decided to go ahead and drop this bull on us. I mean, seriously, guys, this is really really bad. Remember that video I made a couple days ago warning global players not to summon on this banner when it released specifically because of how bad it was on JP? Well, Bandai somehow outdid themselves and made this banner even worse when it came to global. So first things first, the JP banner had 12 featured units, which is already bad enough. That's already a lot of featured units when you're going for one or two specific units, right? But this banner, this banner on global has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20! 20 featured SSRs and of course, a couple of trash SRs just for good measure. But <laughs> guys, that is awful! 20 featured SSRs and the ones they added aren't any good, man. AGL SSJ3 Goku, it's fine, but you can buy that with a thank you ticket. Nova Shenron, why? He has no place on this banner, man. I'm sure, okay, I'm sure there are people that really want him and he has his uses in some capacity, but this is not the time or the place or the banner for him to be on, man. And you know what? Okay, let's cut them some slack though, right? Because they did do something nice for global players. What they did was increase the featured rate from 3% on the JP banner to 5% on this banner, right? Which is which is a good thing, right? But no, no, it's not. If you do the quick math, 5% divided by 20 characters, that is still the same awful 0.25% pull rate for any specific featured SSR. It's the same as JP, like there, there's no difference, there's no difference. They just added more trash characters so that you have a higher chance of pulling something like a Nova Shenron as opposed to an LR Vegito or an LR Gogeta or a full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which is what people really want from this banner, right? But you know what? It's okay, it's okay, because they did add tickets, which JP did not have. They gave us these tickets, which give us a higher chance now to pull, you know, LR Vegito, whatever, whatever we want from this banner, right? The featured units, we have a higher chance now. And when I first heard about these tickets, when I first got the data leaks, I was like, you know what, this is a good thing, because Bandai realized how badly they f***ed up on JP when they released this banner and with the awful rates and a bunch of people getting shafted and being angry about it. So now they're gonna make up for it by giving us tickets every time we do a stone multi and you can use those tickets on a separate ticket banner and pull for these units again, maybe with a featured um, SSR guaranteed with the ticket multi. That's usually how it works. Usually you do a multi with stones and then you get the ticket and then use those tickets for the ticket banner and you have a higher chance to pull the featured units, which would have been fine. You know what? That would have made things a lot better. Bandai would have made up for their mistake and people would be a little bit happier. But no, no, guys, you don't get tickets for doing multis. You can do as many multis as you want on this stone banner, you will not get a single ticket. The only way to get tickets for this banner is to put down your hard earned cold ass cash and buy packs from the Pilafs Trove. And we'll get to those packs in a second. That's the second thing I wanna rant about. It's, it's so bad, it's so, so bad. But anyways, to summon on this banner, you have to pay real money, right? You have to pay real money. You need to do 10 tickets for a multi and the multi will guarantee you one featured SSR from this pool, which I guess is okay. I mean, it, it, it's a featured unit. It's not just like any trash guaranteed SSR from the general pool. So that's slightly better. But when you consider how many freaking SSRs are on this banner, and as far as I, I'm aware, this is the exact same banner as the stone banner, just with tickets, right? So 20 featured SSRs. If you're only going for one specific unit on this banner, let's say you only need full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which I assume is the unit that most people want, or LR Vegito or LR Gogeta, those are probably the three, right? Those are the three most hype units on this banner. Um, you only have a 5% chance, a 5% chance to pull that specific unit you want as the guaranteed SSR. And you have just a high of a chance of pulling AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku, or that physical um, Vegeta, <laughs> or Nova Shenron, as you do of pulling full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So most likely, you're gonna still get shafted, even if you put down your money, right? If you put down cash, if you put down a bunch of stones for this banner, you're still most likely gonna get shafted because the rates are still awful, guys. 5% chance, you pay money, Four tickets, you have a 5% chance to pull that one specific unit you want from this banner. And uh, you know what? 
now that we've talked about that, let's move right along to the Pilafs Trove and take a look at what these thank you packs look like. So you've all heard of Step Up Summons, right? They're awesome. Everybody loves them. It's a better chance to spend less stones and pull more fire, right? Well, you know what? Bandai, who's always on the bleeding edge of innovation, is bringing us a brand new revolutionary product in the Step Up purchases, all right? The Step Up sale. So as with Step Up Summons, you basically have to buy each specific pack in succession before you can unlock the next one. As you can see, if you get the second pack, you have to purchase the Dokkan Thank You Pack 1, and you just go through it until you get to Step 4, and you spend more money with every step, but you get a little bit more, so I guess it's okay, right? So let's just take a quick look at what these packs offer us. So of course, these prices are in Canadian dollars, so if you're in the US or somewhere else, the prices will be different. And in the US, it will be, you know, probably like 20 to 30% cheaper, which is good, but it's still a significant amount of money, trust me. So, okay, first things first, Dokkan Thank You Pack 1, you're like, you know what? I want those thank you tickets. I want a chance to get LR Vegito. I want a chance to get full power Super Saiyan for Goku out this banner. So I'm gonna, you know, put down my cash. I'm gonna commit and I'm gonna spend $6.99 to buy this pack and get those tickets. But what do you get for the for the pack? So you get some some orbs, which is okay. You know, that's not too bad. That's a good amount of orbs, some medals, some training items. But wait, you only get four tickets for buying this pack, guys. Only four tickets, and all that gets you is four singles on the ticket banner and that's no good you don't want to do four singles because you want to get that multi for that guaranteed featured ssr even though it's one out of a pool of 20 ssrs some of which are absolutely trash you still want that chance right you still want that five percent to ten percent to fifteen percent chance depending on how many of those units you want so now you can't just buy the first pack you have to go down and buy the second pack which is at least for me, more than, it's basically three times the price, right? So this is $7, this is $21, so yeah, it's three times the price, right? So you click on that, you're like, okay, fine, I'll buy this pack so I can get those tickets through the multi. But wait, this one only gives me five tickets. So now I bought pack one and pack two, I already made two purchases, I already spent almost $30 in Canadian, keep in mind, and I still don't have enough tickets to do a multi, I only have nine tickets, and get, don't get me wrong guys, this is not a mistake, right? This is not a mistake on Bandai Spider. They know people, if they're gonna buy, they wanna get that guaranteed featured SSR. So now, you can't only buy the pack one and pack two, you're at $30, and you still can't do a guarantee, so now you have to buy pack three, right? You buy pack three, you get your six tickets, now you have 15 tickets, you go do a multi, you pull a Nova Shenron, and you're like, Man, I have five tickets now, but I still want to get that guaranteed, man. I still want to get that guaranteed featured SSR. A second chance, right? A second chance at the one I want. A second chance at full power Goku. But I only have five tickets left. I already did my multi. I bought three packs. This pack is $27.99. So at this point, I am like almost $60 out. I'm out $60. And I only did one multi and got a Nova Shenron. I only have five ticks. I don't want to do five singles. Five singles sounds like I'm gonna get trash. I'm gonna get a bunch of R's and SR's. Like, it's gonna be horrible. So now, you're like, I'm already committed. I already spent $60. I already bought three packs. Might as well finish the four steps and buy pack four, $35. Now I'm almost out, 90 to to $100, something like that. And, okay, let's open it. We got five tickets. Oh, by the way, you get five stones. So I guess that's good. And a bunch of orbs, a lot of orbs. Like, the orbs are good, they're fine, but Overall, after spending like $90, you have two chances to get one of these featured SSRs. And like I said, there's a lot of bad ones in there. And let's say you only want one. Let's say you only want the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. You just increase your chances of pulling him from 5% to now 10% in the guaranteed because you're getting you're doing two multis after you spent $90 on the packs, right? Oh man, that that's just it's atrocious. It's it's awful. I can't believe. I can't believe Bandai did this with the banner, man. 20 featured units just oversaturated the banner with a bunch of trash. And then this ticket banner doesn't even give you. I mean, this banner doesn't even give you tickets for this ticket banner. You have to pay real money. You have to pay actual cash to summon on this banner. And it's just, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a cash grab, right? The way they set up the, the steps as well. 
um, forcing you to basically buy at least three packs for one multi. And then if you want the second multi, you don't want to do singles, you have to buy the fourth pack as well. You basically have to buy all the packs. If you're buying one pack, you're in, you're committed. You have to buy all the packs to really get your full money's worth. And it's not a lot, man. It's not a lot of value in there. So I mean, that's the end of my rant. That's all I really wanted to talk about. Like yesterday when I saw this, when I saw this pop up on my news feed and everything like that, I was like, I just, it just got me fired up, man. I just can't believe Bandai would do this after they've been having such a good streak, such a nice streak of uh, being free-to-play friendly, giving us a lot of free-to-play stones. They go ahead and drop a banner like this. And we already, everybody's already talking about how bad this banner was going to be based on the Town of Batter banner on JP, right? And they somehow made it even worse. They somehow, and somehow introducing tickets was even more grimier than not having a ticket. They might as well have not had a ticket banner because it would have made them look a little bit better. It might have made them look a little bit less greedy. But you know what? I was wrong. You know, I, I thought Bandai was getting better. I thought they were understanding what the players want, but it's still the same old greedy, cash grabbing <laughs> Bandai that we know and love and nothing has changed. But you know what? That's the end of my rant. That's all I want to talk about, guys. Uh, let me know. Let me know. What you think of this whole situation whether you think it's fair and whether you think it's it's fine that they did this that this banner is like this that the ticket banner you have to pay for the tickets and you don't get tickets for the actual stone summons or whether you think it's bull just like me and uh you think that bandai should not be doing this and you know what guys if you truly believe this is wrong don't support them okay don't summon this banner like i said i've always said about this banner like i made that whole video about it and now my my recommendation is even more you know, valid is even more affirmed. Don't summon on this banner. It is so, so horrible. And also, don't buy those Pilaf Trove packs, man. If you buy those Pilaf Trove packs and give Bandai your money for those packs, it's telling them that it's okay, that the players want this. And they're gonna keep releasing those stupid packs and uh, keep taking all our money. So, <laughs> guys, don't do it. It's a bad decision, but at the end of the day, that's just my opinion. This is just my rant. You guys can have your own opinions if you want. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this whole thing, like I said. And as always, if you like this video, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell as well so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>